What's up, El Cedron? No, this is James Powell coming to you from Library Park, where the first Howl, that's H-O-W-L if you're aping score at home, Halloween dog parade is off to a woofing good start. Approximately 30 dogs participated in the inaugural event put on by the El Cedrono Public Library and Police Department. There were multiple awards across different size categories that included scariest, fanciest, and funniest, in the costume of Willy Wonka and an Oompa Loompa won the day. Costume choices ranged from the commercially available to the homemade. It took about, uh, I would say, just like an hour or two, so not too long. It was just some supplies from Michael's and the and the pool store. So it comes from like the TikTok trend of like the the corn. I'm sure if you've seen on social media, corn's trending, I guess. But um, we thought we would just fit into that, you know, category, something unique, creative, and we made these ourselves. So corn and corn dog kind of kind of go good together. Library staff said that the inspiration for the new event came from the dog-loving nature of the city's residents. We just always had thought it would be a fun idea and just, you know, seeing everybody walking their dogs um, in town. Everybody loves their dogs. There's so many dog lovers in town and especially with Halloween season. Um, we just thought it would be something fun that um, people of all ages could enjoy, dog owners or people that just wanted to come and watch. City leaders, who served as judges for the event, praised city staff for implementing the new event. This is the Parks and Rec Department, Library. Uh, we have a very creative staff that are, that are always trying to come up with new events and ways for the community to come together. And that's what they did here. And again, I believe that they're doing a great job of it and, and I hope to see more things like this going forward. And so there's just a lot of neat programs. And that goes from our dealings with other cities to, to community events like this. They're always bringing things forward. It's a really good group. I think that shows that people love community events. Where else do you get to see a bulldog dressed as an Oompa Loompa? So that takes a degree of preparation. So people are keen to participate in things like this. For community members, the event served as a chance to share their love of their four-legged friends. It's a connection with nature that's in your own home. And I think the personality of a pet, and, and they're also, you know, they just give a lot of happiness. They're very giving. They're, they're the generosity of the spirit of a pet and that sort of love. It's a deep thing with a pet. Well, everyone loves their pets. So I think, you know, having these events brings people together and showcases their pets and it brings the community out into the parks and into the restaurants. So I think in that sense, it does bring the community together as a whole. For dollar donors of the city, the first parade may have been a start of a new tradition. For El Cedrono Media, I'm James Powell.